Hello guys and gals. Um, so uh, the chance if you've, you've, you're looking at this video is because you are interested by this uh, decap batching program that I've built. Um, I'm just going to give you a bit of a heads up for the people that don't know. The Autodesk recap uh, software that is installed when you uh, pretty much install any kind of um, Autodesk software um, basically uh, allows you to convert point cloud data uh, say from a Farofocus or a Leica scanner into a recognized format for you to be able to bring into um, like a Autodesk or Rivet program. One of the problems with that is that if you have uh, multiple projects that you need to um, run through uh, recap and get converted you have to wait for each one to finish finish and you start uh, uh, a new project and re-bring in the scans and set it off again and you have to keep doing that and um, we've recently had quite a lot of uh, projects in that require a lot of uh, uh, Con conversion basically and um, so I decided to build this program and it's taken me quite a few weeks to build but I finally got it working so um, so one of the, the the other issues that we've found is that when we've we've done a particularly large project for a client so for instance where we had uh, a site that had five buildings in it each building had about uh, 500 scans in it and um, we found that if we converted all uh, two and a half thousand scans into a single recap program, then it, it became uh, that recap program became either too big to actually open or impossible to open. And our programs, our computers were crashing because of it. So we decided to um, start splitting the projects down. So, for instance, with the five buildings, we had uh, five hundred scans in each building. So, for instance, I, if I go into this folder, I've got my just two buildings in there at the moment as an example. So you can imagine that each building would have its 500 scans in it, and then once I start running my program, it was going to run through each of those uh, folders or sub-projects and convert them into the recap file format automatically, rather than me having to come back into the office and set off another project. So, um, so the decap batcher program that I've built, um, I've just double-clicked it and opened it up up here. Um, big thank you for purchasing it. Um, up here, I've just got uh, was it five things for you to go through just to understand. Uh, first off, it does require decap.exe, and again, for you that don't understand, decap.exe was a uh, a program that was um, alongside Recap, and it basically was like a command prompt version of Recap. Uh, I'm not still not quite sure why they built it. I'm not quite sure what what the the logic behind that was, um, but because they have built it, it's, it's enabled me to build this DCAP program. So, yay for me! Um, so, the user of the um, the machine that we're, we're going to be running this program does require Recap Pro. Now, the only reason that you do need Recap Pro is because you to run DCAP, you need Recap Pro. So, it's simple as that. Um, my program will be looking into C program files, Autodesk, Autodesk Recap, and this seems to be um, the location of DCAP EXE when it's uh, installed uh, by default. Okay. Um, whilst this program does run, it does require that your machine is left alone, um, just because it does require uh, the use of your mouse uh, and keyboard. I think mostly uh, to, to to start up the the DCAP EXE file. Um, so yeah. Um, Second of all, uh, the fourth thing is that the subfolders, so if we go into the actual uh, folder that holds your subfolders, they can't contain any spaces and can't contain any special characters, okay? Also, um, and I haven't included it up here, but I will, um, the, the actual parent folder which holds all your subfolders can't include anything else, but it's just got to have the subfolders and within those subfolders have your scan files, nothing else but those scan files, okay? There's too many different types of scan files for me to go through to um, to make it so it, it doesn't uh, pick up on any um, uh, anomalies. So um, yeah, so to just make sure there's no outside files, so it's just the subfolders, and in each subfolder is just your scan files, and that is it, nothing else. So, um, so I've started up already by double clicking on, on the executable file and again the, the executable file doesn't have to be anywhere near your project because you're going to be pointing it towards wherever the, uh, your subfolders are anyway. So I'm going to hit enter. So the first thing it does go through is a, a DCAP file checker just to check that you have got it installed um, and it will uh, 
let you know if, if it's success or if it's a success that you have got it or if it's failed to find it. If it has failed to find it, the chances are you've, you haven't got it uh, decap installed because either you haven't got Recap Pro or you've installed Recap in a different location. So compare to enter to continue. Um, so the, the next thing it's going to ask you for is a location of the subfolders. Now that is going to be this parent folder up here. So don't I don't want to know where this folder is. I want to know where the parent folder is. So I'm just going to hit Control C to copy that, and come back to the decap batcher and just Control V to paste in that uh, that location and hit Enter. Okay. So it's uh, the first thing it does go through. Um, as you can see, it's actually starting to take over my machine now. Um, at this point, you do need to um, kind of walk away from your machine and leave it to run. But um, as you can see, um, in the bottom right, I should be able to use my mouse. Um, it has given you a list of all the different folders, it's the, the subfolders it's found. Um, and it'll even give you a start time and an end time when it finishes these. I've only put one scan file in each folder just so to give you a bit of an example of exactly what it does. Um, if you've not seen uh, DCAP EXE before, uh, you can see that it's it's. It's got a one uh, and then a one, two, three, four. Now the first one's depicting the first scan file it's doing. The second uh, number is depicting the percentage it's gone through. Okay, so I'm just going to pause this and uh, we'll come back when it's it's kind of halfway through. Okay, so this is pretty much finished now. So it, it's kind of jumped from 97 to 200. 200, I think, is kind of. Um, 100, it goes to like almost like 100, I know it's not shown on here, but 100 is, is for the processing and then it goes to 200 to do the indexing. Uh, I'm not explain too much about the um, the recap and how it does the, um, the conversion, but that's what it does. Give it a second. There we go. So as soon as it's fi finished building that .rcp file, my program is actually, uh, well, once Decap or Recap has finished processing all your scans, it produces a .rcp file. And it's that rcp file that you use to open up into Recap or open into um, uh, your, your Autodesk modeling program. Um, so my program just, just looks out for that, uh, that rcp file to be found. And once that rcp file is found, it will automatically start up the program again. Um, and, and start the next um, subfolder, basically. So. As you can see down here in our uh, DCAP batcher, so it's done building one, it'll tell you when it started and when it finished, so you get a bit of an idea of how long it's taken. Um, it does, so I'm just going to scroll that over a bit. Oh, that's funny. It will produce this, this DCAP times.txt, um, and it will kind of uh, just, just let you know how many um, about all, all your. Um, your subfolders, team scans, it found, and whatnot, and total scans. Uh, I might work on that a little bit more, but that's what it does. Once everything's finished, it it will uh, you can delete all these text text files if you want. Um, but these text files just basically gives it um, the DCAP program. I think it needs to know to be able to run. Uh, where are we? So it's about to finish uh, building two. Give it a second. And you'll see um, down here in the DCAP Batcher program uh, a finished time once it has finished. Come on. There it goes, it's finished, RCP, and finished. And it'll give you uh, just an indication that the whole recap program has finished. Um, once you have finished, obviously, just close out. You can close out these. these uh, DCAP programs you can close those out and you can delete all the text files and again if you go into the building um, well into your subfolders you'll notice you've got RCP files okay um, and that will run and run and run depending on how many uh, um, subfolders you've got in there um, obviously you do require the usual things with your machine that hey, you've got enough hard drive space and you do have full access to that particular hard drive like read write but that is it. Um, any queries, please let me know. Um, I will put my email address in the uh, comment section, uh, and I'd love to hear your thoughts, to be honest. Um, but I'm, I will be selling this program. It, it's going to be £10 per license. Um, 
so again if, if you're interested in having a copy just give us an email and I'll, I'll sort out some PayPal um, details and um, so we can um, transfer it and once you've got it for instance if, if you do find that the program uh, where, where you've got it installed is, is, is different let me know I can edit the program and I'll send you like a customized copy um, but that is it cheers guys